Alright, what is up you guys and welcome of course to another video from yours truly, the Skyrender. Now, this video is going to cover something that is called Pokejob ZB training and it has been covered by multiple Poketubers already. So, I know I'm getting into a dialogue that is relevant to an extent, but at the same time I do want to showcase it and I'm going to show you that this is the way I EV train Pokemon. Uh, there are two ways of going about this. Pokejobs are giving you roughly 96 EVs every time you use it. The way to boost that is by using stuff like Pokeras or the Match of Bracers. Now, I don't want to showcase this with Pokeras. I don't believe, um, or it's the most effective one, so get it if you can. But I will do this to showcase how long time this really will take. Uh, and I have a timer with me. Unfortunately, I can't show it on the screen, so I'm going to have it on my phone in front of me to keep you guys updated and I'm gonna showcase very likely all of it in its complete face and I'll talk I guess about anything while going at it. The thing you need though, you need a wishing star uh, or wishing piece, you can get it by wasting 3000 uh, watts on um, on the watts coaches and uh, consider the way we get this to work, you're going to get at least 12,000 watts or, if you're out of watts, you can use it to go through battle, battle league and you're very likely to get one. That said, um, I've covered how long the time it would take for roughly to train six Pokemon with a Meowth Drake. It takes roughly one and a half hour to get or accumulate that much money to be able to use it on vitamins. The, the number we're looking for is roughly four million Poke Dollars. Same process with watts. It takes roughly 40 minutes to accumulate a lot of watts or enough watts to be able to even train a complete team. I want to have that said because when we do this trick, we're going to do it on 10 Pokemon. So it's a bit more feisty than it was before. But like I said, we're doing this to find out exactly how much time this will actually take. Now the 12 Pokemon I have are going to be distributed in different ways. But yeah, basically we start now. Um, so Pokejobs. And uh, basically, there are always a new job, of course it is. Most of the months I'm going to EV train will need speed. Um, you will need speed, you will need speed, you will need speed. You will need speed. And you guys will need speed. So that's a good part, so we're gonna send them. Oh, select all. Stop. It's take way longer than it needs to. My bad. For life of me, I can't. <laughs> it was supposed to be simpler. There we go. Yes, I'm done. So those are the first one. Send them. Send them the whole egg. Because we're going to manipulate or try to manipulate the time. So basically, we do the watch trick and we get these Pokemon back. The same day, um, the other one gotta boost itself in HP. I think all the remaining one needs HP, so that's actually quite good. Makes sense to me. I actually realized that people or Pokemon's dad will Dynamax. Now it's banned by Smogon for obvious reasons, but I'm using um, Copper Eye up with um, with Dynamax form and Steel Spikes. Um, when you Dynamax Pokemon, you kind of want those extra HP instead. And the reason for that is because they're double HP. It usually is a better defensive response than anything else. I think it's quite impressive, actually. So, yeah, I haven't recreated a Wishing Star either. Um, we got one really close at the beginning. Just gotta watch out for that Copper Eye or Copper Um So, obviously, show, show, throw that in. And then we do the wall trick. Oh, it's um, it's gonna say Delirium Butterfree, but that isn't it? So invite others, and of course, never go online while do this. It goes without saying. And then we change the date, and then back to it. Like I said, we will collect more watts due to this trick, so it's actually really, really effective. So. Back, 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 back. 
By the way, I don't know how you guys feel about the Dynamax ban. I was considering whether or not I was going to cover it. But um, I really... I left it in the hands of the Pokemon that, or the people that does do this job better. I play by Smuggler rules and I know uh, it's unfortunate that I don't get to appreciate Dynamax and go on in future games. But at the same time, um, it's not all that bad actually trying to... Um, Yeah, as you guys see, Knight of Six across the board, incredible. And you get some bullshit stuff afterwards. Uh, but yeah, like, basically, we're saying, if you play any other format, like VGC, Free vs. 3, Dynamax will be there, and that will be quite right. It is unfortunate, but I'm not, like, super surprised why it was decided to be dropped completely. Um, by the way, the good part here is now... I will get them in order after I drop them out because they go to the same place. So we do this once again. It, it took roughly three minutes. So it should possibly be considered that um, it can take, what is that? Um, six times. We've kind of figured out we're good at this, but I'm not. Uh, let's see, HP. 18 minutes. It should take 18 minutes to provide this properly, if I'm lucky. By the way, that Serene has a Leaf card. It absolutely won't have that once I'm done with it. I have one more ability capsule and that's it. Um, I kind of wish I got more battle points more effectively than I do. Like once you rank up to Master Class, you get 20 BP more and that, that's it. That's pretty good. Absolutely unforgivable. Uh, but yeah, anyway, back to that Watts place. We'll see if we have still a Butterfree or we get eventually those Delibirds. No, we got a bad Snorlax. A bad World 3 Snorlax. It's supposed to be the most broken Pokemon in VGC right now due to Trick Room and Belly Drama and whatnot. Um, I, I won't deny it, I'm kind of excited. By the way, you, you could try to speed this up by going for um, the... Um, what do you call it? Um, the fly the flying thing from that steel, steel bird. I, for the life of me, can't remember his name. Um, anyway, also this system you can use to actually make that... Um, if you want to go for that lottery from Rotom uh, to get yourself another Master Ball and whatnot. It's kind of shaky to an extent um, how viable that option really is, but at least it's there. Um, it should go noted, if you want to have more specific EVs, uh, you will be better off using Bracers uh, for individual battles. This is just concept and um, should be regarded as such. But yeah, we're gonna go for your course, the last one, and then we're gonna give, um, let's see, speed. And then everyone is, everyone is gonna change um, their main focus, which will mean I might struggle a little bit, because it's gonna be more specific. Some will be offensive, some will be special offensive, and some will just grow for defense, and others will do nothing. Um, That's it. <laughs> um, let's see, an HP. This turns out to be a lot more boring than I thought it was going to be. This system, however, like I said, it is potentially the most fastest one. Um, or it will be. Um, it will be by far faster than the watt system. The only thing, the only real downside, I guess, is that you don't accumulate more watts. So if you have the intentions of actually getting proper or fair items and uh, technical records, um, you won't be able to pull that off here. However, I haven't used any of my own Luxury Ball for quite some time. And I have 500, 5 million Poké Dolls, I was going to say 500 million, that would have been incredible. There's a Delibird, that's awesome. Um, they are supposed to give really, really good handouts. 
uh, a lot of um, XP basically uh, when you battle them now, which is great. So I kind of feel um, kind of feel kind of evil here, just uh, giving it the cold shoulder and leaving it as is. Um, I also talked to Pokim, kind of covered that. I, I wanted him to kind of tackle this idea, but he had um, a theory that this could be patched soon. If that were to be the case, I believe a lot of people would be kind of disappointed. Um, I agree that it probably should, because this exploit actually... Well, it becomes the non-issue of the whole thing. That means it leaves me only to breeding, which is great. I've been waiting how long since this? I actually have finally around 60 Pokemon to be able to battle with. And now after this, I have 70, roughly. And um, like I said, that this is great. This is something that should have been implemented years ago. Because this is so simple. Yeah, they want you to wait a whole day. That's... That's going to be unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Everybody got anyth everything they wanted, which is great. So now they need to change focus. Uh, we're going to turn this one. The offensive variants going to get their eight attack first. You're going to want attack. You're going to want attack. You're going to want attack. Copper Rosh going to need attack. Got a lot of HP there, buddy. buddy. There we go. So sending them to the to the farm, and the other one's gonna need special attack. So here's where things can get kind of complicated because, like I said, if you want to be specific, don't mess this up. It goes without saying. Um, I have messed up Pokémons. Um, I I know this for a fact. Uh, you're gonna raise your special attack. Gonna raise your special attack. Gonna raise your special attack. There we go. And the other one's gonna raise their defense. But yeah, like I said, you can mess up your Pokemon when you're doing this, and that's that's always an overarching theme that happens, and it's okay, but it's something to worth keeping in mind. Because I know a few might consider, oh, but I want four in this IV, so I want this and that, and um, so don't mess that up. But yeah, I was actually started to think about that. What will happen if this gets patched? If they solve this, this what trick? Um, I couldn't tell you, but really think about it. If I were close combat, I need 8,000 watts. That is four spawn. See, I need to find four of these basically. Oh, five already, and I'm getting greedy. But basically, that would been be very tough to pull off. Um, usually, that maximum what you get, and then it's no guarantee that you even can find that technical records as you come here. Um, so that's something I kind of felt. It's been a bit boring, and I have seen some arguments be made. Well, you can fight mushrooms and uh, fallings that spawns wildly here to get those technical records without watts and I could but it's so unreliable what you get actually back to you and you need to find of course those very rare spawns with five star of course it's for you need five star to get those really rare items and I think that's a joke I or it's not a joke that would be that, that was me going out of line. It's not a joke, but the concept isn't good enough. I need more. Let's see how long is it gone. We're closing on 12 minutes, so I guess 18 minutes is about right. So I think I, I assume right. But 18 minutes is, is, even if it goes for 20 minutes, is a hell of a lot faster than uh, the Watts trick. I think that goes without saying. And I'm not trying to say that the Watts trick is bad, because it absolutely isn't. The discovery of the Watts trick might be 
it's one of the greatest things ever discovered and we don't have but that many things that are so great discovered like that because it basically meant that we could accumulate money um, and we could get rare spawns yes i get the nintendo or game freak wanted them to be rare and i can see their side of the argument but we also have the other side of the argument which is what if we don't need it to be rare? What if we just want the Pokemon? Shouldn't we be able to just get those very <laughs> Pokemon? It bothers me because I think it's weird to argue for it or against it. Um, because for me it just feels rather greedy to um, make sure that your fan base or the people who keep playing the game and will keep doing so are... Um, have lost their imputation to actually get that very same viability. I think it's super unfortunate. By the way, Draldon is one of my favorite Pokemon for this generation. I recognize that this is the first time I EV train one. It took me close. No, this game has been out for a month now, right? I, roughly. Yeah. It took me a month to get my fat ass, large shit face of a, of a human being as I am to get there. And created it. It's one of the best stealth frogs in the game, and I, for the life of me, haven't gotten myself to figure that out. I've seen people using it though. Um, it has a really strong defensive type, which is kind of half the battle for me. Um, right, this is the fifth revisit, and after this, we should be done, and then we should have a clock. Uh, or a, a Tom! And that is implementing that I mess up a lot, so we can probably take back a minute. Um, but considering consider you will mess up too I trust you to mess up and it's alright uh, <laughs> I, I think you can this, this makes for a fair time um, give me back my Pokemons and uh, I'm gonna actually again do a thing that I would call a bit more complicated as uh, some of these Pokemon is gonna get a last inch um, Eevee's somewhere else. The most offensive one won't get that, like Flygon and, and uh, Anaconda and whatnot, but others will. By the way, this Sanaconda variant, I'm going to call it Anaconda, but Sanaconda is that set that um, the Dynamax set that I saw Pokemon was using with Hurricane to be able to boost your speed by one. I thought that was so inventive that I, I had to um, I had to make one. <laughs> But it's been resting in my box for quite some time as I wanted to make this video with 10 Pokemon to showcase how well it can do. I would just prove my point it was 6 Pokemon too, so I guess it's kind of a stretch. Right, last kind of thingy. The one that's going to get attack is going to get attack. And those are you. You. Um... You, Copperage, no, yes, yes, and that's it. I was going to consider getting him a bit more speed, but I will probably just need to be offensive. Copperage is such a powerhouse of Pokemon, I love it. What's some more Pokemon light at? Let's see, and then we're going to go for the special attack ones. Who are you? Actually, both of them. You're gonna get it, you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. Okay, it didn't get that complicated. I was lying. And the remaining should get defense. Seismus are probably the Pokemon I'm looking forward for the most, as um, it getting toxic this generation and being a very, very alone in that is incredible for its viability. It's not perfect. It is, of course, not perfect, but just that it gets it are so huge. So, yeah, with that said, you know, the last kind of get back, we're getting close to those 18 minutes I was looking on. Um, it will not become 18 minutes, but close to 20. We are right now at 70 minutes and 25 seconds. Like I said, I recognize this is a super, super boring video. It is more of a me 
me ego pushing myself. Oh, butterfree. Ego pushing myself. That's not a word. I just really wanted the statistics to be um, to be right. Oh, I did it. I, I did it. I did wrong. Shame on me. <laughs> but uh, my conclusion: this this type of process uh, by EV training is double the speed than watch training. Yes, it's not perfect. Yeah, it's a bit greedy, and quite frankly. It, 20 minutes is still 20 minutes, but it is a rather functional way. And like I said before in the beginning of this video, you can use bracers and you can use pokeras to double it. It could in theory just take one visit to be able to spike uh, your Pokemon stats. As if you have pokeras and uh, a matching bracer, you will get... 252 distributed EVs to your stat. That will mean you'll need two visits, which in theory means. Um, well, what does that mean? It means it takes you around five minutes to EV train one Pokemon. Um, and with Pokerus, you can probably half the time here. Um, with so instead of six visits, you will do four visits. That would mean on it would be roughly 10 to 12 minutes. So that's all right. Um, but yeah, like I said, and I overcomplicated my EVs somewhat. Uh, they're not, if they were going for the same type of process, this would have easily shaved off one to two minutes. But we are actually closing in on 19 minutes and 30 seconds. So we're gonna say 20 minutes is a fair assumption with mess ups and with me being me. So that is actually the video. I just want to see how long this take. It will probably make for a rather boring video, but just gonna tell you guys that this is the fastest way of EV training right now that has been discovered thus far. Um, first and foremost, there has never been a way for EV training properly in the wild this generation, at least not good enough. Uh, the Watts training with vitamins, or, or vitamins overall, has been the best way of EV training. The Meow trick is being the only legit one that's gonna keep you in the game. It will take roughly one. No. So I say this right. No, we take one hour and thirty minutes, roughly, not three hours. One hour and thirty minutes, roughly, to EV train six Pokemon to get that or accumulate that much money to be able to pull that off. Uh, that is without mistakes. Then we have the Watts trick. It takes roughly forty minutes, vastly superior in any way. And then we have the Poke Job system, which takes you roughly twenty minutes, which is all things considered okay. It is not. It's not Pokehex, it's not cheating, uh, or it is cheating, but it, it's not that type of cheating. But overall, 20 minutes for EV training, 10 Pokemons, I'll say you can do much worse. So I really hope you guys enjoy what I was trying to recreate here, and or create overall. And yeah, i see you another day. We're actually going to stream tomorrow, so be sure to check that one out. That's it guys, take care, as always. Bye guys.